what's happening, what's happening, what it do, what it do. Welcome back, you already know, man. It's your boy, Ballhead Tate, man. You already know, man. But let me show y'all the ball head just so you know. It's real and it's official. I'm a real ball head dude, man. So let me put my orange hat back on. Yeah, man. Welcome to No Connors Media. Welcome. I got some breaking news for y'all. <laughs> breaking news for y'all, man. Hey, yo, fuck the little show with the shimmy I just did. We're going to act like that ain't never going, that ain't never happened. But, you know, I don't edit shit out anyway because this is raw. This is off the top. And this is no condoms media. But we keep it raw. We keep it rough. We keep it rugged, man. Slide on through, man. Come in the walls of the no condoms media. That was nasty, yeah. Yeah, my whole intro was nasty on this video, but fuck that, man. Welcome back. Please, man, if you like this video, hit a like for me. You know what I mean? Hit the notification bells if you're already down with the subscribes. You feel me? I need you to hit those as well. You feel me? Uh, the notification bells, man. You get this content when I'm dropping it, man. Nobody's bringing the news like I bring it, man. I got to bring it to you raw. I got to bring it to you the way I see it and the way I feel it. Yeah, without further ado, man, we about to get into this shit, man. Lil Mo, man, she was on... Hip Hop Uncensored, and I fuck with them, shout out to Hip Hop Uncensored, yeah, uh, and I heard a little snippet of what she was saying about Dr. Dre, now they asked her a question, how does she feel from a female's perspective of abuse, so she went into her story of being abused and how she attracts like broken people, and we all know that hurt people hurt people, so, she attract those type of people, and she been going through domestic situations, people putting hands on her, using her boyfriends in the past, we heard the stories before, so she went into that whole type of thing, and then she went into some other shit, saying how she grew up, and she wasn't around that type of behavior, because her parents were Christian, and they didn't do those type of things, they didn't cuss, they didn't argue around her, they didn't let her see anything that children shouldn't see so they she went into that whole shit and then the dr dre thing came up and she basically went into saying that she knew people and she knew females had friends girlfriends whatever and she heard some horrible stories some horrifying tragic horrific traumatic type of shit i don't know why i said like all them t words but yeah she said she heard some uh some foul shit about dre we all heard some foul shit about Dre. Ever since way back in the day, like when um, they even said it on uh, Real Motherfucking G's. But yeah, uh, the song with Easy E, BG Knockout. Yeah, they, they, it was mentioned on there. I can't think of the line right now, but yeah, it was mentioned on that song. Like, yeah, Dre, you think you you tough because you like to put your hands on females. <laughs> so like, it, it it wasn't just the women, like. I forgot the rap order. Was it was it Drester? Drester? I forgot his name. It was BG Knockout Easy. I think the other dude's name was I, I don't know his name, man. But anyway, fuck that. It's been coming up for a while. So she been saying, like, yeah. Females that I know who've been in dealings with him, they've been in uh relationships, they've been in all type of entanglements and all. Whatever the situation ships was, she said. He be bitches. <laughs> and that's some foul shit. But she also said, like, yo, I haven't seen this with my own two eyes. I haven't seen this with my own eyes. So I heard the stories. But before she even, like, got into saying that type of shit, she was like, yo, when you come at certain people in the industry, they have the ability to, like, shut you down, kind of hush you up. Like, yo, tell you, relax, because they'll strip you of your whole shit, and they'll shut you down. And then, like, certain people you just got to be the fuck quiet about, especially if you try to climb the ranks, and you try to come up in the music business, or you try to come up in Hollywood. You just got to keep certain names out your mouth, because they got certain abilities and certain powers to hit certain buttons that can straight turn you off. And I think Dr. Dre, one of them people. I don't want Dr. Dre to turn me off, y'all. I'm just nobody ball head dude trying to make YouTube videos, trying to get people to subscribe so they can get more content like this that I'm dropping. You feel me? But yeah, man, look. If it's true, it's true. If it ain't, it ain't. 
I don't know. I'm just giving you the breaking news. But the thing is, what I really want to say is, domestic violence and putting your hands on women, that shit is not cool. You need to call them little hotlines they be having. You know what I mean? They, you call them. If you see somebody getting domestically abused, <laughs> is that proper? Domestically abused? You need to you need to do something about it. You need to intervene. I don't know. Maybe you should call for help or something. Because certain situations, like I, I've been in a situation where I've seen somebody beating the shit out of their girl. I was downtown Baltimore. I was on a bus stop. You feel me? And there was another bus stop, maybe like a block down the street. And I seen this boy whipping this girl ass. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, Shh. first I'm sitting there for like a minute just looking like, yo, he fucking her up. Like, maybe he going to chill out. The chill out never came. So I walked over there. I'm like, bro, yo, chill out. Yo. Like, you ain't got to beat on her like that. Chill out. This bitch jumped up was like, leave us the fuck alone. Like, what you trying to do? She said, you just going to let this nigga walk up and, and, and say something to you? He like, bro, get the fuck on my your business. I'm like, yo, y'all crazy, yo. Like, really, like, y'all crazy. I, I ain't going to say what I was, what I was going to do. Well, I ain't even going to say what I said to him. Just know the situation ended nicely. I walked away. Everybody was fine. Nobody was harmed. <laughs> but yeah, domestic violence is not cool. You shouldn't be putting your hands on females. That shit is not all right. I don't condone it in any way. I also don't condone bitches, females, whoever, women lying. Because women don't do shit like that. So I'm going to call them what they are. Like, I don't condone bitches out here lying on motherfuckers trying to get them set up or try on some dumb shit because you feeling some type of way about this guy and you want to see him harmed or you want to see him in trouble. I don't condone that shit at all. Yeah, but if it's really situations where y'all really being abused and really fucked up and, and hurt and harmed and being treated misfairly, yes, you, you should, yes, you should scream out for help and Everybody who's around and sees this, they need to do anything in their power to try to stop what's happening to you. That's the message for me. All jokes aside, no conscious media. But yeah. Lil Mo said, Dre still doing beats <laughs> and not in the headphones. Hey, man, come on, man. I'm out, man. Please hit them likes. Please hit them shares, man. Share this shit, man, so we can get these, these news motherfucking news drops out here to the world to the people so, so they can see what the fuck going on from my perspective from our perspective at the no condoms media you know what i mean part of the ncg gang man you already know man hit the like share subscribe please subscribe to the channel you know what i mean notification button so you get this content i think i said that shit before i'm just blabbing on and on and on and on in the video man you already know it's ball here take in the building out the building